Hey everyone, it's uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're gonna look at um, finding out whether a variable is a, a string or an, or an integer, okay? So basically, we can just go straight to the anonymous window here uh, to do this. So let's, um, let's maybe do something like integer my int equals one, two, three, four. And let's do something like string my string equals one, two, three, four. All right, cool. So we've got an integer and a string there. So basically all we need to do here is we can do something like, all right, if let's say my int, so in Salesforce there's something called instance of. So you can use instance of integer then do like a little check there, or we can do something else, or lastly, we can do an else, okay? So let's just clean this up a little bit. So do, do, do. put a system.debug in here, system.debug, and let's go in, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Class. Do, do, do. Actually, we don't need to do a class. Let's just say integer. And in this one, we'll say string. All right. Else, we can just do a little system debug here and say something else. Cool. Um, let's maybe add like a Boolean in here for just for something else, we'll call this bool. And let's go, du, du, du. let's just go false. All right, so we've got boolean, which is false, and all of this other stuff, okay. So first thing we're doing is we're checking my int, um, which is the integer. So basically, it should go through the system.debug for integer instance of, okay. So let's hit execute there. Uh, Operation instance of is always true since an instance of integer is always an instance of an integer. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of an issue here. Uh, let's just try something else quick. So let's go. I guess that didn't make too much sense anyway. So what we could do is let's say you've let's say you've got an object, right, and it's my int. All right, so we're gonna pass the same thing in, in here and see where it goes, okay? So if I hit execute there, um, and you go to debug log, you can see that it picks up, it's an integer, right? So let's say we had, let's remove all this other crap. So let's say this was a string. Um, so we've got an object there, the variable is just called my int, but you're not exactly sure what it is then let's say it was a string, then what we can do is we can execute this and then it should tell us it's a string. All right, perfect, so yeah. So that's definitely working. Um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Um, we could maybe try something else like putting in false there. Uh, we'll, every time I hit control, <laughs> command S instead of hitting execute. But yeah, all right, let's go debug, and there we go, something else. Um, yeah, so that's one way of finding out what kind of variable you've got um, if you wanted to do a quick little check. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.